Hey guys, welcome back to Marco Polo Club Flyer, and um, I'm super excited today because um, I'm flying again after one and a half year. Like in November 2020, that was my last flight from Hong Kong to Hong Kong, which is a flight Asian flight with Hong Kong Express. Uh, in case you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out somewhere right here. And for today, I'm flying on Cathay Pacific from Hong Kong to Bangkok. Um, yeah, it's now 9 a.m. and my flight is at 4 p.m. I'm here so early, not because of the documental checks, but uh, because I want to visit the lounges. Yeah, it has been two years since I last visited Cathay lounges. Okay, so hopefully you enjoy the journey with me. <laughs> Okay, before proceeding to check in, let us check our documents. Uh, so what I have right now is um, the insurance documents that require a minimum of 10k US dollar um, coverage for COVID-19. And also my vaccination record, my Thailand pass, as well as hotel reservation confirmation. Oh no, there's a sign saying that the check-in counters will open at 12.15. I'm not sure if that's true, but hopefully I can check my luggage so that I can use the lounge ASAP. Okay, I will try my luck and ask the staff right now. Um, I was just given my boarding pass. Luckily, they let me check in. They, uh, they explained to me that because they don't have any flights uh, during the daytime and they're told they close the counters and will reopen them uh, at noon time. But luckily, they still let me check in my luggage and uh, let me visit the lounge. The departure hall near uh, the Cathay Pacific counters are actually closed, so I have to walk to the other end of the airport uh, on the north side uh, for the immigration as well as security check. Okay, I just got into um, the restricted area and most of the stores here are closed. Um, I need to walk to the other side of the airport for the the wing first class lounge. Um, perhaps we can talk more when I arrive there. <laughs> I don't know how to walk there. Oh my god, it has been like two years <laughs> since I last visited the airport. Okay, let me find my way first. Here I am at a cabana at the Wayne First Class Lounge. Um, currently, Cafe Pacific operates only two lounges here in Hong Kong, namely this one, the first class, uh, the Wayne First Class Lounge, and the other one, the Pure Business Class Lounge, which is located um, at the very other end of the entire airport. Um, but Cafe do not like they are not um, classifying first class and business class at this moment. Especially, they are not even operating first class flights right now. So whenever you have the lounge access you can enter both of the lounges. So as a Marco Club board member with only a business class lounge access, I definitely enjoy the extra perk of being able to join into the first class lounge. And um, uh, I actually chatted with the staff just now because I was like the only guest here at the moment. And they told me that there were like morning flights uh, just, uh, which have already departed. And they are waiting for the next flight, which would probably be my flight, flight to Bangkok at 4 p.m. Um, it's not even 12 p.m. right now, so there's only one flight in a few hours, um, and therefore there's no one right now. But uh, they told me that probably people will be joining um, maybe after 12 or so because um, the check-in counters will be open by then. Okay, so let me now enjoy my time here, my little me time here at um, the wing, the cabanas. It's always a luxury to enjoy a bathtub here at the airport, right? And I actually got um, this sanitizer to make sure that it's clean, especially during the pandemic times. Back to the restaurant, and for lunch, I have um, this cafe signature dandan noodles, as well as this pork dal. 
complement uh, by my champagne as well as the cocktail of ginger forest. Yeah, I have been missing this dish for so long and I can't really wait to taste the signature Ganda noodles again. The Hong Kong Airport Authority made use of um, the pandemic times to refurbish the gates and these are now how the new gate looks. You can see that there are those kind of automatic um, boarding machines. At uh, this point, I would call it uh, the point of no return uh, because when you walk past that point, you can no longer come back to the point that I am at right now because beyond uh, gate 24, all the flights are international flights flying outside of uh, the mainland of China. So um, I'm going to pass through it as my flight to Bangkok is also beyond that. Okay, so my meal is now right over here. Um, and this is also the only moment throughout the flight that I can remove my face mask, okay? Once I finish my meal, I must put on my face covering according to the requirement of Cathay Pacific. Oof. Due to hygiene reasons, the meals are all covered. Uh, they did not remove the lid. And for appetizer, I have this um, prawn salad with mixed vegetables. And there's also some garlic bread as well as pastry. And for main course, um, I chose the Atlantic cod with tomato. Let me show you. Mm, it looks normal to me. Um, hopefully, it tastes better than it looks. Let me try the appetizer first. The prawns look okay. Um, not a giant one, but it's fine. To be honest, I quite like the sauce as it's like a bit Thai style with um, like sweet and sour. So I quite like this appetizer. It tastes better than it looks. Fish. This tastes super normal, so probably I'm not finishing it. Oh, okay, let me introduce to you this Cafe Pacific cocktail. It's called Cloud Nine, and it consists of uh, vodka, Huang Pro, as well as lemonade and soda water from what I remember. And they're like really this decorative um, sugar on top. I quite like this drink. And the other signature drink that I like on Cafe is Cafe Delight. Uh, previously, they also had two other signature drinks called the Pacific Sunrise and Oriental Breeze. Unfortunately, they got discontinued after the pandemic.
So what the Welcome to Bangkok, and finally here I am at Thailand. Make sure you don't miss my future videos in which I will introduce different hotels I stay in Bangkok to all of you. And thank you so much for joining me here today on my flight to Bangkok. Uh, let me find my driver first, and I will see you at JW Marriott Bangkok later in my next video. Make sure you do not miss it. Hope you've enjoyed your time traveling with me, and please like, share, and comment on this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Most importantly, check out my Instagram account, CXKA underscore Ken, for more traveling shots. Ta-ta for now, until I meet you again next time.